Back to the channel, I'm Mohammed. As you can see, today we are here to learn about the drugs, how to go about it as a beginner, or if you have the experience, there's more for us to learn. So today I'm here with my madam, Madam Irene. But I would like her to introduce herself to us and give us the education about the medication, her rhyming and everything. So guys, we don't be talking much. I'm Irene. I'm Irene. I'm Martin. Okay. My company is Israel Boss Hands and Tapper. I'm behind Tapper at this Yeah. I like you, Kumash. I deal with what you drive in your livestock. If you have paid down um, sheep on the goods, cows, man, ducks, turkeys, rabbits. Wow. Yeah, we have that. We have that. So, I want to start by asking you, how is the agric sector going now? Mm -hmm. When you started and now? When did you start? I started 2015, okay. November 2015. Okay. I'm looking at from 2015, 16, 17, then. Uh, the business wasn't bad, it was booming as at then, but now the poultry side is a bit slow. A bit slow. Okay. And the livestock, I think, is improving now. Okay. The poultry side. Why, yeah. why do you think the poultry side is. I think the poultry side, um, our soya bean, our maize is still growing high. But when we come to the livestock, you know, most of the animals feed on the grass. Okay. And that is. That one is cheaper, that can be bottled. Yeah. But with the soya and maize, if they don't have it and they're still going high, how we can get it? So we're still going up with the poultry, but when you come to the livestock, yeah. so the livestock is going Yeah, the livestock is going up. So, so the soya, I, the poultry side, how can we do it? What's the solution? What do you think we can do to I think uh, most of our soya beans are imported. Like Chanel, Argentina, Brazil, they are all from other countries. But if, let's say from the northern sector, the soya can be also, I don't know if it can be treated, anything they can do for the poultry, go to get it worked out. I think it could be particular for So we need to farm more of such? Yeah, I think we need to farm more of such. Unlike maize, we still import maize, but we can still get it at the end of the So, well, the problems you are mentioning, it's an opportunity for us. Because in every, every problem, there's an opportunity. Yeah. So, there's, you are trying to say there's more room for us to, if you want to go into the maize business, maize farming, there's more room for that. Yeah. There is bias for you. Yes, that's what that one, there are bias for those points. Somebody is making um, a land planting maize. He doesn't have any strategy like nobody to buy. He will get companies to buy. So if you are thinking or planning of maize farming, Jack, do it real quick. Maize, soya beans. Maize, soya beans. Oh, okay. okay, let's talk about the livestock. You said the livestock has been good. Right, the business is going well, as you said. If the business is going well, it means the farm is also moving well, right? Okay. So, what are some of the drugs that you need at your place all the time as a farmer? There are many drugs, but the most ones are vitamins, vitamin antibiotics, grandma, and then most of the times, early. So what, what is the LA? Can we see LA? Or, because most of you don't know if this is LA, this is what. Maybe Shantia can help us with that. Shantia, please help us with LA. Let us see. So this one is the LA. This is the smaller one. Okay, show it to the camera. Yeah. Uh, the LA. Okay. This one is the smaller one. And we have a bigger one. Oh, I see. I see. It's also an antibiotic, and we have vitamins, which is this one. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the tablet. Okay. This is the tablet. Yes, we have the tablet. The how, how does it look like? The tablet. How does it look like? Okay. So this is the tablet. Yes. So should I give it to? Is it a particular age that I need to? know that oh this age let's say it's two years i need to give it four one or half i start from six months okay i see, I see. as they grow old they still do them set up so it's not harmful i see no side oh, then we have the liquid one okay um, yeah, the Okay, the so do, do you have some for young ones? Yeah, you can use Okay, I see. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. So, how many times or how many, what is the interval in deworming your animals? It's every month. Every month. You need to deworm them every month. Really? Most don't know. Some people feel it's three months and six months. But approximately it's months. Mm. And what again? What are some of the drugs that we need to give them monthly? Well, as for the way my monthly, by vitamins and antibiotics, those ones are not much. I think an animal is sick. Anytime an antibiotic or an early. I don't think you wait for months before. So, if I'm planning, the, I'm a new farmer, like I'm planning to go into farming in the livestock sector, what advice do you give me? Should I go for goat, sheep, or cattle? Oh, cattle, sheep, goat. They are all okay. They are all okay. They all fetch money too. But I think um, the sheep and goat will is a bit easier. But with the cattle, I know it goes a long way. Like it's the um, redness on the market takes no longer time. Yeah. So there are some some drugs here. That is it a spray or any other things? What is the this thing called? Tylus. Where is Tylus? Tylus in it. Can I see Tylus? This one? Yeah. Okay. And the tap. And the tap. Okay. I see. So, I've been making my YouTube new. A lot of people have been mentioning Tylus and Tylus. So, this is how it looks like. Tylus. Okay. So guys, if you are around Takradi and you want drugs, so this is how Tyson looks like, right? Mm. So if you are a new farmer, try and get them at your side. This is Takradi snakes, right? So if you are around Takradi, Jack, if you are a farmer watching me, please come to this place. Bring her boards, right? We will come and meet Madam Irene Hey, Madam Irene, what advice do you have for us, the farmers, or the young um, ones coming about farming? I think the industry is getting better. Okay. It's still booming, so um, if you have the opportunity to be in the land, you can still go in for livestock animals. So it's is in the market, and their drugs are also cheap. Really? Is it cheap? Yeah. Is it cheap? Yes. Very Are you cheap. sure it's very, cheap? Very, very cheap. Okay. Very, very. To so me, I'm selling though, but it's very, very cheap. Okay. So, what is if I'm having a when do I use Tylosin? Tylosin is for the gastronia and then the internal and external to so I think some experience one. Coffee, heartbeats, heartburn, a sharp running of the heart. 
not all those symptoms are for the entire skin. But you see that some, you see that there are some bruises near the nose, and then you see that the heart area is giving some distress too. That is when you use the time. So we should be wearing our animals every month. Is it um, only cattle or goats? No, sheep, goats. So I, a lady called me that her animals were dying. Sheep, they were dying. What do you think? Um, first, we should have either given um, either duema or antibiotics to one of them, since you don't know what is happening to the animal. So when you give the um, antibiotics, sometimes it brings out what is happening to the animal. And then sometimes the duem also brings out what is about it. So any one of them can be used for that receiver. What causes bloating in animals? Bloating, bloating is excessive eating that has stopped, choked. So you feel uncomfortable because you feel bellies are hooked up with stuff and they are feeling uncomfortable. Also when animals chew in rubber, they also feel uncomfortable. But bloating is eating more excessively or um, taking in diet that is giving you uncomfortable. So let's say my animal has eaten rubber. What do I need to do? Oh, I don't know. We have it, but the exact thing is what I know. It's like camphor. It's round. You put it in water, and then you drink it, and it's over. But you don't have some? I don't have some. Okay. It's finished. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. They drink it. It will melt it's the rubber. It will the rubber, and they, they will bring it out like feces. So to yeah, this iron, iron um, for cattle, sheep, goats, spine, okay. <clears throat> and it's for deficiency solutions. That is, um, if the cattle or sheep or pig, it's not having a, a good amount um, of deficiency. That is, they have some called anemia deficiency. This one is and this is ivermectin. Okay. This is a dewormer to both Hindu and Nesdo parasite. Right. It's also for cattle, sheep, goats, pig, or swine. Or pig blood too can be used. It's also, um, how do you call it? When the animal have a skin problem, that is, um, you will see there's dots, dots on the animal. You treat it with it. You can also, at the same time, deworm it for it. And this one is penis, uh, penicillin, that is penicillin. Okay. And this one is dehydrated one. Okay. And this one is raw penicillin. It's also for foot rot and for sores. This one. It's like milk. This one is penicillin. This one is like the skin, the skin um, solution. Because this one is Ivan, or this one too is Ivermexin. So it's two combined. And then poor one is for animals that have ticks on them. Okay. You see them scratching their bodies. So what happens is that you use strange, remove the mouth from it, you put it in it, and then you add a little water, and then you put it from the coat to the tail of the okay. animal. This is what that form. What happens is that it makes the ticks off from the animal. Okay. And this one too is spray, of this spray, it has antiseptic in it. What happens is that if, um, normally when they bring the animals from north, some tie them on their legs. Yeah, yeah. So when you remove the rope, sometimes you see there are bruises there. Sure. You can use the spray. Or maybe, um, I don't know, a cat. Yeah. That blood is coming to so you, can use this to cover it. This one, it treats it because of the antiseptic. And then this one is also liver no injection. It's a duema injection. Okay. Purposely for piglets, pig, swine, sheep and goats. But sometimes the sheep and goats and the cattle want the urawa. Okay. That is their other avenger. Mm, that's my advice. And this one is like the Ivan. This one too is like a
Violets, violets, there. Some are from China, some are from Holland. Yeah, these ones are from China. Okay. China. This is Jordan. Okay. This is China. Jordan. China. China. This is Jordan. So which one is expensive? Um, the China normally, the Jordan is also expensive, but the China is lesser. Okay. Which one is quality? All is quality. Just the one thing I noticed about them is the Holland or um, Belgium ones works faster. Okay. But with this one, it takes time. But when it takes time and it's reacting, this one also moves. Oh, so just that this one takes time okay. than the Holland or Belgium. So these are the major ones you should have as a farmer, yeah. as a farmer, or yes. just pig, sheep, goats, whatever. Yes. Uh, hello, guys. So as you can see, uh, my name is chilling right here, and I'm fasting. So everything will be fine. Inshallah. So guys, this is part one. Inshallah, we do part two when she's well. But because of the love she has for you guys, she's not feeling well, but she tried her best to give us this interview. So guys, thank you. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me. And if you are around Takradi, please come to... Come to... Rehoboth Farms Enterprise, behind Takradi's net okay. house, I.K. Kuma Street. I see. I see. Yes. Come for your drugs. There are a lot of things here. Come for education, whatever you want. Come, and we are going to learn more from each other, inshallah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so. you. Tell them to subscribe to the channel. Oh, please, kindly subscribe mm -hmm. to the channel mm -hmm. of Muhammad. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice channel. Do I looked at it, I think, during the weekend. And you learn more about animals. Yeah. Thank you. So, guys, thank you for your time. Thanks to our sister who also helped us in certain things. <laughs> okay.